Welcome back to Enshrouded. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get all of the different craftspeople and survivors in Enshrouded. It's really important to access these people as early as possible because they give you a bunch of quests that help with progression and also unlock lots of different crafting materials, gliders, armor, and bag space that you're going to find super useful on your adventures. They also give you a bunch of different side quests as well that can unlock some unique treasures. The location of each person is timestamped below if you want to skip ahead. We already got the outcome and the blacksmith last episode but now I'm going to be showing you the optimal path for getting the last three characters. But we're currently right here at our home base and we want to go to the north over here to the ancient spire which is the Springfield's fast travel point. This is going to be the location from which we can access the rest of the world. So you can see the spire just over there pretty hard to miss. We've got to travel over the broken bridge and we're going to be using our grappling hook to do that which we unlocked. You can check out the guide linked down below in the description if you're interested. So we're across the bridge and we're right at the base of the giant spire. So we're going to head round to the north here and you can see there's kind of like a bandit encampment blocking our way. Those pesky bandits. Disgusting. Now we can actually access the top of this by using our grappling hook, which you will need for this little adventure we're about to go on. Oh, hello. Let's take him out by using headshots here, which do tons of damage. Why is he not shooting me? That's weird. You can sneak attack this other bandit down here. Oh my god, he just moved when I was about to headshot him. You know, I will jump down and finish him off in a second. Let's drop over here. Surprise! Get wrecked, son. Give me your metal scrap. Now, there's another law book right here. This actually adds a quest to find a hidden tomb located directly to the north over here. So we might actually go and check that out this episode. But don't forget to loot this box too for a rusty sword. Yeah, great. I'm glad I did that. That's going to get salvaged immediately. Anything in there we need? No. Now we can travel north past that bandit camp and up this hill to the left. And that's going to guide us to the base of this spire. Here we are at the base of the Magnificent Tower, the ancient spire of the Springlands. Each biome has several of these spires that you can unlock. And we've leveled up to level four. Perfect. Have we actually got enough? In our skills, can we unlock double jump for four points? Yes, we can. So double jump is just like a hack in this game. It allows you to jump twice as high and far and lets you solve some pretty easy puzzles. So to start out, we've got to activate this and then we're going to get teleported upwards and we essentially have to solve a puzzle as we progress onwards. So there's a button just here which we can activate and that will open some of the doors in this puzzle dungeon. Let's go ahead and unlock this chest. The shepherd's lightning staff, nice. Let's also nom some grilled wolf meat as well just to boost our health bar a little bit. And then we can come back into this room and climb up these stairs here. And right here, there's a grappling hook so we can just swing across, open up this door. And now we can use our grappling hook again to get across. I actually think if we just drop down, being careful of those spikes, yeah, there's a chest just here we can actually loot. With a survival flask, that's actually going to be useful later on. We will need this. Sometimes there's loot on the balconies and you can smash those pots, but there's nothing here for us right now. So let's activate this and head upwards. Here we are. Okay, let's jump over here. Watch out for the lava right below us. And if you look up here, you can actually use a bow to shoot this. And that will open this door over here. We can loot this chest. What's in the box? It's just a crappy hunter's bow. We can hop over here. Oh, almost fell down. That's fine. No matter. Oh, is that a honey pot? It is. One of the best stamina regens in the game, that. We can now go on to the next room upstairs. Aha, here we go. There's a lot of spikes here. I recommend as soon as they start to go down, you can walk on them safely like that. So you see? Before they've even, you know, started to go fully down, you're actually safe just to stand on them. Don't jump and run around on those things. It's a really good way of getting yourself killed quickly. I think we can just jump across. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Okay, Jesus. Luckily, the lava doesn't do too much damage. 
I forgot I had double jump, so I just double jumped into the lava. And we can sprint and jump onto that one, apparently. First, let's just get this chest outside for 15 fireballs. And we'll jump over here. Now it's regen. We can jump up and climb. All the way up here. Press this button. Now I assume that's going to open this other door. Can we open this? We can. And maybe then... We'll hop up here. There's probably going to be another button. Yeah, there's one at the end of this. Open this one. And now this room, yeah, is open. Great. So golden chest. It's a level 3 rare hatchet. I will take, obviously. We should be able to get us some higher level weapons this episode as well. I can just glide across and then we can go to the next level. It's always recommended to get the extra loot in these places though. Now we're at the top, we can light the beacons of Gondor. These ancient spires open fast travel points all over the world and reveal the ancient knowledge of Embervale. Venture forth, child. The lands must be reclaimed. Look at that view. I mean, damn. So... Directly to the east is the next location we want to go. Because we actually now have a quest to activate the Ancient Hunter. So we're going to set that as our waypoint. He's all the way over there in that building straight ahead. So we want to get as much altitude as possible here. So let's get up to the top. And then we're going to double jump off and use our glider straight in that direction. Now, we do want to be careful we don't fall out the sky here. So, obviously, if I do run out of stamina, I'll leave a little bit so I still have enough to break my fall should we run out of gliding power. But we're going over the smog here. We want to veer a bit to the left so we land on this cliff, ideally. See, it's even flashing to warn me that if you fall out of the sky, you're going to die. Okay, here we are. I could eat some honey to actually increase my regeneration. Can't see any around here. So I'll hold on to it. So you can see just down here, we can actually glide this section as well over the shroud. And now we can just make our way onwards. In fact, let's just quickly grab this, uh, this flame here for a little spark. I think I already collected that one. Oh, there we go. Now down the stairs we go. Oh, there's some honey in this tree. Honey is just incredible, so make sure we always collect it at every opportunity. We also get some wax there for some lights, which add comfort to our home. Now, there are a bunch of enemies up ahead in this uh, sort of mausoleum-like ancient temple structure. We're actually going to ignore them. They look like Wookiees. It's kind of weird. We're just going to go straight on, get this checkpoint here. So the ancient vault of the hunter... You can see the enemies just over here. Look at these wookie looking creatures. I'm going to try and shoot this guy with the staff. I'm going to get ready to dodge roll. Oh, he's actually got a two-handed club. Let's have a look what he drops. Animal fur and resin. Okay. And you, sir. Come at me. On guard. Erect. And some raw lean meat. Nice. Okay, so now we can go up the stairs here. There's a bunch of secret treasure in this place. So the first one is located just to the right here. Here it is. There's a secret door. It's so blended in. It's incredibly well done. There's a secret chest at the end. Here we go. Let's leave this. A frozen core wand, level three. It's an epic item as well, so it's got a lot of potential for getting upgraded. Might actually bother upgrading that one. And we can climb up. Now, we can enter the ruin itself. Now, there's a bunch of traps, so do take care. Ow, I just got 100 health damage. Let's eat some berries. And then we can wait for this trap to go and then run across. There we go. Now, before you jump across this cavern, there's actually a few little secrets here. So there's three buttons to access a golden chest in here. So let's get our bow out. The first button is just above this pillar. Let's activate that. Now the next one is going to require us to run and jump and hit that grappling hook. So sprint, jump, grappling hook, then jump again and land just here. Ah, oh, we ran out of stamina. So run, jump, grappling hook, 
jump up here. We can just make it up. There we go. Now, you might even need to have a potion to have the extra stamina so you can get over here and press this button. But then we can just glide over the traps back here to where we started. And if you check this gate, you can open it on the right. And there's another button here. And now we've done all three of those buttons. So we should be able to access whatever's inside this golden chest. What's in the box? It's a level three hunter's bow. We're going to get the full hunter armor set as well from this guy. Let's use our rappel hook to jump across the lava. And we can climb upwards. No secret passages in here, I don't think. I really need to get my rested buff back to get that extra stamina regeneration. Ah, so this is the hunter's vault. Let's go and pick him up before we get the rest of the treasure. Awaken, hunter. There he is, the hunter. He's like T-posing like this in his picture. And we've got the scout gloves and everything unlocked now. So we want to go up these stairs. There's another secret area. We use the uh, grappling hook to get up here. Use my torch so we can actually see. Open this and jump across. There's another way up. And it's nighttime now. But on our right, it kind of blends into these windows. I completely missed it the first time, but look. There's another little secret area with another hidden chest. Get an executioner's axe right there. So we're still on the roof of this building, as you can... So we're still on the roof of this building, and if we go directly to the east, looking that way, we can see another spire. So if I open my map, you can see we're right here at the ancient vault. The other spire is around here. And what we're going to do is actually glide across it. You see that bit of land just there? We can probably make it to there. So I'm going to drink a shroud survival flask. And then we're going to run and glider all the way into the distance here. We're going to end up in the shroud, but we're aiming for that bit of land directly to the east that kind of pokes out. Now, if you haven't already done the upgrade to level 2 Flame Altar, which I did last episode with you guys, then this will be Deadly Shroud, and you won't be able to get there without dying, pretty much, unless you have an upgraded glider, which you shouldn't have. So probably want to cancel at this point, drop down, and then just break our fall like that. So we're on low stamina now, but we're good. We've got 7 minutes in the Shroud, which is going to go over this bridge in front of us. Um, and that's going to take us out of the Shroud... And towards this new location. We made it. So make sure you upgrade your flame altar before you do that. Otherwise you will die in that deadly shroud. It just drains your uh, shroud bar really quickly. God, there's so many wolves there. Mate, can I just throw one grenade at them? <laughs> okay, they're on level 7. Might actually need to deal with these guys. Ow. I'm going to block all their attacks. Let's get a merciless strike to finish him off. Oh, I thought it gave me iframes, but it doesn't. Oh god, okay. They're down. You get good experience for killing these guys, so I'm just going to finish them off. And we have a berry to regen our health here. And as you can see, they just drop some more loot. Oh look, there's so many goats here, I could have just killed them for food. And now we'll just head towards the tower. The ancient spire in the low meadows. The entrance to this spire looks like the entrance to Mount Doom. I'm coming, Mr. Frodo. All right, let's take the teleporter up to the top again. And here we are. We can't open that gate. We've got to unlock it. So let's wait for these spikes to go up. Ow, really? I was, I was not standing on that. Damn it. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to run and jump to the next one where I'm safe. Okay, there we go. Now we can just run across. And that's open this gate. I'm almost dead, but it was worth it. Let's eat some berries. And then we'll go up to the next level. There we go. I don't... Oh my god, look at that. It's so green out there. It's kind of pretty, actually. There's another survival potion. These spike traps aren't actually on yet, so I think we're good. I guess this will activate them. Oh, yep. That's activated them. And now this is open. So we need to open another button to activate that door. Let's wait for the spikes again. Now we can run. Wait for the spikes. Ah, here's the button. It's just over here. So now we have to backtrack. Now this door is open. And now we can hit this one. 
but there's also a golden chest here, so definitely worth doing. We got our first level 7 weapon there, which can still be upgraded as well, so pretty damn useful. Glad we went back for that. Now we can go up to the next level. Oh yes, this looks fun. Ah. Uh, okay, hopefully we can go through here. We can, good. And some pots. Let's run and jump. You actually take damage even though you're close to the lava. So you got to be careful of your health bar if you're low. Oh, there's actually a wall to climb. I didn't even see it. Let's get ourselves up here then. And then we can drop back down on this side and go past these spike traps. Wait for them to fire and then go through. Oh, more honey. Nice. I'm just going to stockpile the honey and never use it. Let's open up. Oh, wait a sec. Ah, we've got to fire an arrow. And then we can get the chest. Should be higher level loot now in these basic chests, so they are worth looting again. Obviously, in the earlier area, it becomes a bit more pointless. Here we go. Man, I really almost don't have enough stamina for that. I need the rested buff to make this much easier. We'll actually just jump and then glide into this bit. Let me get a torch out. Uh, another golden chest. Nice. Scorching wand level 7. And what's in the box? Okay, so now we should just be able to go down here and grab the next way up. And we have finished the tower. Let's go and talk to the flame. Low meadows are drenched in sickness, flooded with bile and bitterness. Fight back the shroud and unveil the peaceful glades lost beneath. Boundless wilds of untold beauty lie under the decay. And the sun is actually rising right now. Oh my god. So we are just here on the map and we have another quest to actually get the carpenter who's over here. I'm going to set that as our next waypoint because we can actually fly over there using the same strat. We probably do need to rest at some point. I think we can make it. So we're going to fly directly over the shroud. Oh boy. Is that on my stamina? No, I've got another bar. Thank god. I was like worried. Yeah, so you'll definitely need to have upgraded your flame shrine to level 2 to do this. Which I did a guide on yesterday. Pretty simple thing to do, to be honest. So you should be fine. So we're just going to fly down here. And this vault is going to be a bit of a run-by, to be honest. Now we're on the path. We just flew from here to here, and this is where we need to go. So you can see the entrance in the shroud over there. Let's go ahead and jump up, and we're going to go ahead and set sail into the shroud. Slightly to the right here. We've got to climb up on top here, so we need the grappling hook to do that. And we're going to ignore these enemies because there's some big threats in here. They're like level 7. We just, there's no point. We might as well just run past them because we need the timer on our shroud. We've already got a potion with plus 2 minutes. But we're going to go straight on, and then we're going to jump and fly over these critters. They're pretty annoying, so you might actually need... Oh my god, you might actually need to kill them. We're going to fly straight on. See these spirit things? They have homing missiles that they're going to fire after you. See, there you go. They're firing them. But you can actually out-sprint them, so just keep walking. There's a silver chest in there, but we're not going to grab it. Um, if you want to mine it out of the way. We've got to shoot this quickly. To get rid of it. Just of ow. They do some damage. We're going to run through the shroud. Forget it. And then there's a five minute timer here. To reset us. We've got to climb up here. Before our stamina runs out. Good time to have honey if you don't have any yet. We're going to start mining through this. If you have explosives... It's obviously much faster. I do have explosives. I'm just very stingy. I just don't use consumables. Okay. Another enemy. Which we could kill. Much easier to do with ranged weaponry. Ah. Uh, let's use our wand. Okay. Resist the wand damage. Ow. Ow. You don't even have to take this one out, by the way. 
I have no stamina. There we go. Torn cloth and a shroud core they drop. That's very useful. And this is where we're going to find the carpenter. Let's go ahead and awaken him. We've unlocked a bunch of recipes now and the carpenter himself. And obviously to get out of here because you can't fast travel from here. We're going to run. And then we're going to jump and glide. So we get up the stairs. And then we can just run out of the shroud. Now if you go directly left, it's a bit faster to actually get out. But now we've unlocked another quest to actually unlock the farmer. Uh, we'll do that in a minute though. Let's go ahead and fast travel back because we really need to rest. Our character is exhausted. So after resting, we're now going to travel to the ancient spire once again. And from the north here, we can go and ancient vault where we'll find the farmer directly over here. So set that as our current waypoint. From the spire here, we're going to fly directly north from it. You can actually see that big black building to the north. That is the vault where the farmer is located. We can also pick up some treasure from there as well. So it's going to be a pretty juicy location to access. But we're going to fly as close as we can. And we're going to walk the rest of the way, unfortunately. I don't really like walking. By the way, guys, if you found this video helpful so far, make sure you drop a like on it because it really does help support the channel. And uh, hopefully you like these... Interesting. <laughs> hopefully you like these sort of... Uh walkthrough slash guide videos i quite enjoy making them give me the honey give me the honey if you jump up and harvest you can usually get it i don't know if we can actually shoot that one though i guess you gotta chop down the tree okay so now we gotta fly down here Just gonna fly to the right we could grab this flame thing actually while we're here that's a big health potion there they do scale into late game, by the way, so... You know, you can get health potions that heal 200 health or so. And let's actually have some of this honey right now, just to increase our stamina regen. We're in Ferndale. It's like a bandit camp just here. There is a silver chest at the top of that house, I believe. Oh, berries. And now, we just go directly north, um, towards that big black structure we can see in the distance. And here we are. Let's hop up here and go inside the temple itself. The ancient vault of the farm. Here we are. Now the front door is actually locked and there's actually a secret treasure chest I want to show you guys. So what we're going to do is drop down over the balcony just here like so and then up here there's a repel rod jump over here and just on the side we can find a secret passageway that has a golden chest hidden inside oh it's a ring of health not that great golden chests usually give you a higher chance to get higher rarity items so they are pretty useful for that so now from the entrance again, we're going to go left and then right and straight on over here. And there's a big pit of lava, so do take care. We're going to jump over here, jump over here. And then on the right, you actually see there's a grappling hook. We've got to hop on here, though, and climb along first. And then we can use this grappling hook. There's a secret chest just at the back here. So I'm going to grab. Nice. Ah! Okay, almost died. And now we need to get past these. Basically, you just run through them in one go like this. Then jump the last one. Gives you kind of like a little speed boost at the end there. And the first button is just at the end of that shock corridor. And now there's another secret. If we come to the left, jump along here. Before you go up the ladder, jump over here in the dark hall. Hidden little chest there. Didn't think you'd see me, did you? Wait until our stamina regens right here. We've got to jump across. And then we get to our first checkpoint. So let's go ahead and activate that. Now, this is quite tricky if you don't have double jump. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump, press E. Jump, press E. Jump again. And that's how you make it across. If you have double jump, all of these parkour exercises just get super easy. So that's why I recommend just 
First thing you pick up, just grab double jump. Now in this next room, if we go right, we can actually make our way up to the rooftops here. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, if we go outside and to the left, we find another treasure chest. With some ice shards. And now if we go all the way around the back of the building. Keep going all the way around. And then we find a secret entrance. With some spike traps, my favorite. I'm gonna jump over the rest of it. Right ahead of us, past the spike traps, is another button to press. So let's press that. And then we can come out to this main room at the back here. We're gonna find another treasure chest. You can actually see the tower we, we flew from all the way over there. I just love how this game's rendering distance is ridiculous and you can just see the whole world out, laid out in front of you. But now we can just fly down into this open door because we've unlocked all three of those buttons. And inside, we can open the farmer's location. Awaken Farmer. Emily Frey, the farmer. The only female in the game. The only female survivor. There's another secret in here, though. If we go up these stairs, there's another grappling hook. So we can jump and jump again. And you can get up here. And at the back corner, a secret passage with another chest. With a hunter's bow. Meow. And now we can travel back to our base. Now we're going to get out our summoning staff and press tab. And now we can choose another character to play. So let's start off with the carpenter. My god, he's so small. All right, I'll put the carpenter over here. Hey! And then we'll go and speak to him. Make yourself a now the best thing about the carpenter is he can make magical chests that have increased storage and the items stored inside them can be used from anywhere in the base whenever you're crafting. He also obviously makes lots of advanced beds, tables, fireplaces, a bathroom, toilet, oh wow, and some fancy doors and windows. He also crafts a kiln which can be used to make fired bricks. And he has some quests. And now we can talk to her. Now the hunter will craft us different arrows and there's many more arrow types than just these two. Obviously when you get copper and iron, you'll unlock many more different ones. She also produces the drying rack, which can be used to make linen. And she'll even make you animal fur with fur patches and string. She can make different types of torches that give way more light. And she'll build us the scout armor set, which gives you stamina, regeneration and range damage. Without a sturdy supply of sods, it will be challenging to preserve fur. I might not be from here, but I know the land well. Here, I'll mark a location for gathering salt in your journal. Don't disappoint. So she's given us one location which we have to go to for the quest just over here, but it's actually not a good location for getting salt. The best location is just here, which I've already done a video about. Lost hand spindle? If you think powers do not fret, with my hand spindle, I could craft better armors for us and increase our chances of survival. I lost it during my escape through the Revelwood in days long past, near Westcott, where I laid to rest. Don't worry, I've got your back. So this is going to unlock us the Marksman's Hood. And she's given us a quest, the Hunter's Hand Spindle. And if you actually talk to her, that's going to allow her to craft the Ranger's Armor Set. And there's also the Marksman Set, which is harder to craft, but also has really good enhancements. And now the last person we need to summon is the Farmer. <laughs> well, you can go just here, you can be different. Hey! Hello there. So the farmer can produce supplies and she crafts lots of different food for you once you build her fireplace, which she has a quest to get. She can also craft the seed bed, which is used for growing different plants. And there's tons of different plants in the game. And she will make farm soil for you from bone meal and dirt. Obviously, the bone mill is made with the grinding stone. And we got that from the alchemist. Now, from here, you want to be completing all of these different NPC side quests that will appear in your journal. Like getting the alchemist's mortar, which allows you to craft more potions. Or getting the hunter's hand spindle to get those new weapon sets. Also, the yellow quest is the main quest of Enshrouded that you can continue as well. And then there's a bunch of side quests that also give you different rewards. Now, if you want guides on how to do specific things like like get this unique shield, for example. I'll leave my other guides in the description below, or you can check out our Wikipedia on where to find all the different crafting materials in the game. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.